I'm Rob Richards and welcome back to my power and strength training series where today's focus is all about the biceps the one muscle group that every guy wants to train to be able to show off when he's out I remember for me years ago it was the only muscle group that I wanted to train and it's what got me started and interested in fitness so let's get started Now the arm curl is one of the best mass building exercises to really help thicken out the arm and add some depth and width into the bicep head. I'm using an easy curl bar as this gives less stress on the wrist than using a conventional straight bar. So first exercise, just warming up 15 or 20 repetitions with about 50% of your usual lifting weight. Already I'm getting a great burn in my biceps. Now I wanna talk about form and technique here before I start to overload and add some more weight onto the bar. The first thing is about posture and your stance. It's all too easy to add too much weight to the bar and start swinging back and forth, taking off a lot of the stress on the bicep head and placing it more on areas like your lower back and involving your shoulders to do much of the work. So chest up, shoulders back, my knees are slightly bent, my hips are pushed back, therefore, even when the weight comes out away from my center of gravity, I'm well stable and balanced. Second point is to keep my elbows fixed at my body. So only the bicep is doing the work, not the whole arm swinging out. Now that I've got a bit of blood pumping around my arms, I can start to overload the bar and take the weight up to a, a level where I'm gonna fail around about 10 reps. Yeah, that weight pretty much took me to my threshold, the point at which I can no longer lift that amount of weight without breaking my form. So that's exactly the point I need to be at. Another point that I want to bring up is when you start off, the arms are pretty much completely straight. You curl all the way up without allowing the elbow to come forward, so as much as the bicep can peak. But when you control the bar back down, try not to let the bar touch your thigh again because it requires that much more energy and effort on the behalf of the bicep to then get that arm back up into a position where you really start maximally overloading the bicep. So really, it's a shorter range of movement, kind of like that. Okay, let's add about 10 or 15% more weight to the bar and really start to overload and get my biceps growing. Yeah, 
this one should do it. Now you saw halfway through, or for the final few reps, I kicked one leg back and that's to help stabilize me so that when the weight starts to become too heavy for my muscles, I'm not then rocking back and forth. So that's a good tip if you really overload and add more weight, is to put one leg back, keep the chest up, and it gives you much better support. The next point that I wanna bring up is hand positioning on the bar. Now I've got quite a neutral position, about shoulder width apart which keeps as much stress as I can on the main head of the bicep. If I start moving my hands in or out, yes, I'm gonna shift area on the bicep where I'm really hitting hard, but as it's the first exercise for my bicep workout, I wanna give it everything I've got. So stick with the basic neutral hand positions earlier on in the workout, and then as you start to fatigue the bicep, in this case, you can start to vary the hand movement to affect more the outer and inner.